Welcome back on Adobe Live, live from Barcelona. We're at OFF 2019, and for the next hour, we're going to be together with Marina Willer. Hello, Marina. How are Hi. you? Hi. <laughs> Hello, Rufus. Marina works at Pentagram. Yes, right? I'm a partner yeah. at Pentagram London. Par partner at Pentagram London, so we will discover her work in just a second. And of course, we will have a couple of portfolio reviews at half past, so in exactly 30 minutes, we will have two online portfolio reviews, one from Rafael Costa and the other one from George Hadley. So Brazil and UK are represented and we will be looking at your portfolio. I hope you are in the chat and uh, yeah, make sure you ask all your questions uh, to Marina and we will discover her work. But first of all, Marina, just a little bit of introduction. Who are you? What, what do you do? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> so I am originally from Brazil. Uh, I was born in Brazil. I grew up in Brazil and then I moved to the UK when uh, I went to do my master's at the mm -hmm. Royal College of Art. Okay. Um, I've been now living in the UK for about 20 years mm -hmm. and working there. I was uh, the lead creative director at Wolf Follins, which is a branding agency. Uh, and then seven years ago, I became a partner at Pentagram in okay. London, which I'm loving. It's really mm -hmm. wonderful. I do a mixture of design and film, short films and I did my first feature film, yes. uh, which was launched last year. Because you're year. also a filmmaker. Yes, yes. yes. So, yeah. So I, we had the screening of my film, mm -hmm. uh, Red Trees, yesterday, which was launched in Cannes last year. Okay. And it's on Netflix. Um, mm -hmm. So it is a, a combination of things. And mm -hmm. I, I think my work covers a lot of branding and um, branding, which has been, in a, in a way, uh, working more towards arts and culture, and also a lot of uh, social organizations, mm -hmm. things I really care about. Yes. So a lot of uh, uh, charities that are, you know, like Amnesty, mm -hmm. Oxfam, um, uh, Macmillan, it's a mm -hmm. cancer charity. We're launching Maggie's, which is mm -hmm. cancer charity. So a lot of charities mm -hmm. that are doing social good. And I've also been doing a lot of uh, exhibition design, which mm -hmm. is something started to happen. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, we just opened two days ago the Kubrick exhibition mm -hmm. wow, that must in be the Design incredible. Museum in London, and <laughs> yeah, it, we yeah. designed all mm -hmm. of it, mm -hmm. the 3D, the graphics, mm -hmm. the films. So I'm uh, really happy about mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. yeah. It, it, so I'm, I'm very lucky. You said you grew up in, uh, in Brazil, and you, you moved to London to go to do your master's there? Yes, or exactly, because so I was think... With that intention, I mean. I had already uh, uh, trained myself as a designer, but I never thought I had... You know, you learn more from life than anything mm -hmm. else. And I think that, that's still yeah. the case for any designer. You collect things wherever you go. But I, I was very interested in Royal College. It's a mm -hmm. very special place. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I needed a place that would really open my mind and encourage mm -hmm. me to, to feel a little bit also more empowered to yes. use creativity mm -hmm. in a very broad way and, uh, and less kind of just linked to the jobs and... Mm -hmm the briefs, try to create things mm -hmm. and, you know, in a way, like I was saying, where you mix media and uh, it's more about ideas than whether it will become a film or a, an exhibition. You create things mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. the ideas lead to the, the media that was you Was there choose. a specific direction to your master or? Um, there's a course in the Royal College called, uh, I think something like Art Direction and Communications okay. or something, mm -hmm. but it's so open. Yeah. that you really encourage to do everything. So I started to make films there mm -hmm. um, and develop the passion. But I never wanted to just be a filmmaker mm -hmm, as such. Mm -hmm. I think there's yeah. uh, that is an incredible art form and I really respect. Mm -hmm. But um, And I think that's super interesting that you developed the passion while you were doing your master. And you know, this is a question that comes up very frequently or more also among our audience who are, many of them are students and beginners. And you know, the question always comes up, but do you really need to study or can you be self-taught? And, and I think going to a school is always a good experience because we're surrounded by like-minded people. And you know, in a good school, you have good teachers that can give you <coughs> the necessary background to, you know, to find your yeah, passion. Yeah, I, I think because of the digital times, people mm -hmm. think they can just learn because mm -hmm. you learn the technical skills. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I think the younger generations are really good at picking up technology. Mm -hmm. But learning to be a good designer mm -hmm. as such, or artist, mm -hmm. I, think, I think you do need a course that, uh, it's a bit like expecting an architect to become an architect without the training. Mm -hmm. An architect has to know mm -hmm. their art um, yeah, really yeah. well, mm -hmm. the craft and the structural demands and, the, and, and mm -hmm. all of that. So it's, it's the same with design. I think you really need a school 
uh, school training, but then I think that's more senior you get, the mm -hmm. more broad school training, mm -hmm. uh, like the masters there, or there's so many in London that I really think are great. I think that gives you a framework, so you know, uh, you get really inspired by the people around mm -hmm. you, and that makes you feel that you're growing, growing up in yes. a way, as a, as a like said, finding empowered. your yeah. finding mm -hmm. your thing amongst mm -hmm. that landscape that is very open and broad. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to m to mix what you're passionate about mm -hmm. and general interest with mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, with the skills of design mm -hmm. and and uh, you mm -hmm. know whatever platforms mm -hmm. you decide to to explore. George is asking, did you do your masters right after your degree, or did you take some time? No, I did, but I think you know each each one has their journey, and for me mm -hmm. it was really important because mm -hmm. um, I coming from Brazil. I had to work for a while to really get the experience, and then I felt much more, um, I think, in control and, and, and less frightened to explore, mm -hmm. because I had had some experience. Mm -hmm. I was a little bit more, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, I had done things. Yes. Um, and, and so I think if I had an amazing uh, college training, maybe I wouldn't feel the same, but I think mm -hmm. for me it was really important to do that. Mm -hmm. So I didn't come straight away. I wouldn't have got in, I think, if I hadn't worked and mm -hmm. had the portfolio. You need yeah, a really yeah, good portfolio yeah. yes, to get yes, in those yes, schools. Yes, yes, yes. I remember to get into the art center, I had to do a whole preparation semester just so that yes. they would check on me if I was even able to, you know? Absolutely, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. And I, I, I love that. And I, 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 I think did it, it yeah. makes you put your mm -hmm. shit together. Exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah. like you have to try and focus on mm -hmm. what is it about my work that I would like to share and that I think I can focus on in the next mm -hmm. couple of mm -hmm. years. And yeah. so I think it's important that you get into a school like that with some direction already mm -hmm. uh, of yeah, what yeah, you yeah. want to do. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what happened to me. Like I was a good for nothing teenager and, you know, school really. Like oh, it gave really, me that, yeah. that you, punch you, and, and you made me it. who I am today, you know. And uh, yes, uh, while well, Yogatella, there are, of course, a lot of self-taught people, uh, very creative people. Um, but like I said, school is, especially if you have you, the opportunity to go to school, is really to, you know, to be surrounded by like-minded people, by other inspiring people. Uh, and good teachers that have a good experience to, to talk about and, uh, and teach you the basic skills. And then you can, you can do whatever, really. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's not to say mm -hmm. that, I mean, I think all the great designers that I've seen and, mm -hmm. and been lucky to meet and also the people we employ, they are always people who are very curious and collect mm -hmm, things mm -hmm. and photograph, sketch, whatever it is, the, the form mm -hmm. of collection. Uh, it, it's about that. It's that curiosity mm -hmm. that makes you learn. So yeah. you can't expect the school to do it for yeah, you, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it does give you a, uh, you know, Gives some you kind a, of a, sense a of support yeah, system. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, so that, just one last question, and then we're going to look at your work. Um, so when you interview for Pentagram, for example, um, does a degree or a master, is this something that you're looking for or do you look at the ideas? It's really the, the work, to be honest. I yes. mean, people mm -hmm. always send their CVs, which yes. I think is a little bit of discipline, which mm -hmm. is fine, yeah. but I, I would never choose someone based on their mm -hmm. CVs. It yes. really is mm -hmm. very much yeah. about the work and the ideas and, and uh, you know, whether you're presenting something new, mm -hmm. but also we, because we have to deliver work, yeah. we do look at the craft and mm -hmm. the ability yes. to, to use mm -hmm. tools. Mm -hmm. I think more and more, uh, like when I was a junior, mm -hmm. you were not expected to know a lot of uh, programs mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. stuff, but now with technology, it's difficult to really get integrated if you can't make things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think every designer is much more of a maker. Mm -hmm. There isn't that thing that you then give it to an artwork and then yeah, you give yeah, mm -hmm. We all have to edit, code, animate, mm -hmm. make, you know, all yeah. kinds of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That does mean that you then you know, you might get the best mm -hmm. person in the field to then come and mm -hmm. help you shape things, mm -hmm. but you need to be able to create it mm -hmm. without that dependence. One last question. How do you become a, um, um, you said, not, not an associate. Uh, partner? A no. partner at Pentagram. Is this like so a process? So I was invited or? to mm -hmm. join already as a partner, which mm -hmm. is normally how oh, it okay. happens. It's very... <laughs> it's very a unfrequently. It's <laughs> a funny, it's, no, it's a funny yeah. thing. Uh -huh. it's, it's a bit like a club, we say, <laughs> because we have offices in London and New York and mm -hmm. Germany and so on. But uh, people get invited by... Mm -hmm. uh, we are owned 
uh, we're independent, so mm -hmm. we're not owned by a group. And all of the owners are amazing designers. Mm -hmm. Paula Cher, Michael mm -hmm. Beirut, people I yeah. really admire, Harry mm -hmm. Pease, uh, you know, all my partners. And we love spending time together, mm -hmm. and it feels a bit like a family. Mm -hmm. But first thing is, if there's someone that is doing outstanding work mm -hmm. and feels like they can be independent enough to... Uh, run their own business mm -hmm. because each studio is like a small startup. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I have like seven people with me, mm -hmm. but I have to originate every project and work yeah, with uh, them on mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. um, and they collaborate, it's really mm -hmm. collaborative, but uh, we are running everything, the business side, the creative side, the strategic mm -hmm. side, the planning. Yeah, we yeah. do get support, but it's mm -hmm. very much, there's no, it's, you know, like the old ad agency thing yeah, where you had all these planners and mm -hmm. but that's why design isn't so well paid as mm -hmm. these people and and mm -hmm. I think fair enough because we are in a time that you don't need mm -hmm. all that yeah, yeah. unnecessary structure mm -hmm. but so is there a guiding light or like a, a motto or something that all of the so all the partners are always looking because we're all in mm -hmm. conferences mm -hmm. and we all you know very much in the in, inserted in and in writing mm -hmm. and doing things uh, Uh, where we meet other people all the time. Mm -hmm. So when someone outstanding comes up, mm -hmm. they um, discuss amongst all of them. You have mm -hmm. to be voted in by all of them. Okay, it, unanimous. It, it's unanimous, otherwise they don't want to start to break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a really democratic system, mm -hmm. but it takes sometimes longer because yeah. of that. Mm -hmm. But in a way, this model has mm -hmm. lasted and worked so well because in the times we live in, it's both, you've got the network of mm -hmm. different skills, like mm -hmm. digital, film, 3D, architecture, everything. Mm -hmm. But you also have the agility of the small team, mm -hmm. which is like a small business. So yeah, yeah. I think the really big agencies are struggling a bit now mm -hmm. because no one wants to pay the fees that they need to keep mm -hmm. going and yes. they're owned by groups. And especially Whilst because the big, very, clients, yeah. the big clients now also tend to go, um, they have the internal agencies, they, they, yes. they find the talent and, and yeah. take the talent. And you want to um, hi hire the talent, yeah. mm -hmm. not yeah. the name above the door e as yeah, much. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. This is nice about, interesting about Pentagram as well, is we don't hide who did what or, mm -hmm. you know, so uh, it's, all the individuals are celebrated mm -hmm, within mm -hmm. the kind of... That's great. ...constellation or whatever yeah. it is, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, Marina, let's, let's, let's look at, you, uh, you prepared a reel, I think. Uh, we have a like little a reel here mm -hmm. anyway, which mm -hmm. will be showing part in and then And then, like, look, look at it, and in the chat you can ask me, um, uh, you know, like if you want to see a specific project again, we can we can, uh, we can scroll stop back. half the way. Uh, yeah. So okay. we play for a bit. Mm -hmm. So what you will see here is a lot of. It's not of playing. Not, not it's not yet. playing yet. Uh, okay. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, did you want to play? It? I was just going to okay. say a, okay. um, a minute. Okay. It's a combination of a lot of it is uh, social, like I said, mm -hmm. charities to help. Like the first one is the abandoned mm -hmm. biggest charity for abandoned cats and dogs in the UK, and then there's a lot of cultural, like Tate and Serpentine. Mm -hmm. So it's a mixture of both, mostly branding, uh, what we do here, and a few exhibitions. Yeah.
Spanish. The lighting comes in. Very nice, very beautiful. <laughs> so you can see there is a real, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not showing films here because yeah, that yeah. would be too mm -hmm. much, but aside of the films, there's a lot of uh, brands and mm -hmm. then there's some exhibition design, the mm -hmm. Ferrari exhibition at the Design Museum. Uh, and even Ferrari, which is not, is not very much my thing, mm -hmm. and I won the pitch, I was surprised, but it's all about showing the craft and mm -hmm. the beauty of the mechanics. Of yeah, that's yeah. what we yeah. proposed, mm -hmm. and they, uh, they really enjoy that. But apart from that, everything is really arts, culture, uh, and social, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so I feel really happy that I've found the things that I enjoy doing. Yeah, There's yeah. a couple of jobs that are present in Spain. Uh, Vibia is a lighting company here that's amazing. There is uh, also Hay Festival, which here they call okay. I. I. <laughs> <laughs> and they are present in Spain and also uh -huh, in Latin uh -huh. America. So uh, it's kind of connected. Okay, yeah. maybe we can go, we can scroll back a little bit, maybe to some projects that, look, maybe we can start with the, yes, with the... The Battersea, ba yes. so Battersea, yep. this is a brand for mm -hmm. the, it's the largest, uh, 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 let's say, charity for abandoned cats and mm -hmm. dogs in, the, in Britain. This was very funny because I was surprised that they came to us, but because mm -hmm. I did lots of charities before mm -hmm. uh, and they looked incredibly cold and institutional and mm -hmm. like a hospital so we made it really human and mm -hmm. it's very democratic because any cat or dog they mm -hmm. will take no matter if they're dying and other charities believe it or not they will not take if they're mm -hmm. not too well because they don't want to see them die and yeah, that mm -hmm. brings a bad reputation mm -hmm. so it's really and when we do something like That's this that's a we horrible do, thought <laughs> but it is it, it true is, yes i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I learned with yeah, every yeah. job mm -hmm. you learn yeah, so yeah, much yeah. right so we make the illustrations, mm -hmm. we did the, all the, mm -hmm. the words, the tone of voice, mm -hmm. the photography, a, mm -hmm. a lot of fun mm -hmm. and lo really lovely people, mm -hmm. yeah. And like so here I see some paint brushes and things. Yeah, and we made so it very human, so mm -hmm. we, that's why it's handmade. And, mm -hmm. But then obviously who, everyone loves <laughs> seeing. And there's sub-brands, which are these activities, so you get mm -hmm. the, the splashy dog here, yeah. muddy, muddy dog, and best friend is the other <laughs> one here. Oops. Oh, it's no, jumping no. around a bit. Yeah, there, yeah no, it was jumping around before. That's okay. that's where this is. This is off. This is not real time. Off. Yeah. Oh. Off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was there anything else you wanted me to stop at? Tate yes. is a job that mm -hmm. actually uh, I was very lucky to be. I was still a junior designer. What Fallen Spy did the route that got ch selected, which is the current still identity of Tate. Mm -hmm. This is 18 years old now. Eight. Wow. And mm -hmm. it's still there and it's still relevant. So. Very happy, but we always work in a way that is very strategic. It's, it's, it's together with strategists mm -hmm. talking about what is their position in the world. Mm -hmm. And it was very much about always changing what they, you know, the way that everyone sees art is yeah. different. Mm -hmm. That's why there are many logos and okay. they're always changing. Mm -hmm. And they work really well in the digital world now mm -hmm. because they're soft. And then we also did Serpentine, it's about seven years ago, mm -hmm. the, the identity uh, and brand. And this is a brand that is in the open in the park, and it was about uh, the second gallery. So they have one on each side of a bridge in the mm -hmm. park. So the bridge works as a link. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why we have it in the logo. But it also is about opening up mm -hmm. debates mm -hmm. and yeah. ideas on art. And so this Brazilian brand, Melissa, uh, BBC identity for uh, it, this celebrating women's uh, presence in all aspects of life. Uh, MTV, we did uh, their studio, the studio mm -hmm. that creates all their work. It's got I love everything. these ones as well, like so the layouts here. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, we, in, in Pentagram, we create books that are s initiated to, just to give to friends. And, mm -hmm. uh, and, and they have a small format normally, but I did this one with creating rubbings of the floor mm -hmm. uh, with this, uh, oh, what okay. we call 
uh, of uh, manhole covers, they're mm -hmm. called. Yeah. So we did rubbings like they used to do mm -hmm. in the church, you yeah. know, in religious ways. Mm -hmm. uh, so we get the sense, the texture, and then we made them very colorful. Mm -hmm. So it is in a way celebrating, like in the way that they celebrated uh, religion, this is mm -hmm. celebrating the beauty, of the, the kind of industrial And you types. said this one you made big? So we made Almost big, real size? Yeah, almost yeah. real size mm -hmm. as a paper. And then we had mm -hmm. an exhibition and we still, s I think we sell them online, uh, the mm -hmm. prints. Uh, they're very, very, very fluorescent. The, this is a, 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 a workspace in London, which is very connected. The architects actually are Spanish cel gascano, mm -hmm. uh, and everything is very colorful, and it's all about ideas coming together. And they've got bookshops, so it's connected, mm. the, the identity again. Hey Festival, I mentioned. Uh, which is all over the world now, but uh, I know uh, it started in Wales. And so we think... What is the Hay, uh, the Hay Festival? It's a literature festival, okay. and it, but it's one that is really... It's a bit like a TED for good. Everything mm -hmm. is about changing the world, mm -hmm. and you've got the most incredible writers coming together. It's, it's in the next bank holiday in mm -hmm. Hay. Hay is a village in... Mm -hmm. But we had to dis differentiate all the different festivals and also the behind-the-scenes things like this. So... Um, the bar is covering, but you've got press, you've got uh, the player. Uh, mm -hmm. So we create systems, really, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with things like this. So, yeah, Nesta is a charity again. All of these are not for profit, mm -hmm. let's yeah. say. And then this is connecting all the art and culture organizations in Kuwait. So we, this was funny. How difficult was that? To that was very interesting mm -hmm. because we had to create a logo that was similar in Arabic mm -hmm. to... Yes. This and is this was a mm -hmm. real... For me, it was incredible because I felt a bit ignorant, obviously. Mm -hmm. I can't do Arabic. Uh, but we, we get a lot of people to help yes. us. But at the end, I was sitting with the chairman mm -hmm. of the organization and mm -hmm. drawing. He said, I think if you connect more like this, he said, you can't imagine because it's not your language. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, not yeah. even your... Alphabet, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So it was a fascinating thing. And I think when you look at the English version or, or mm -hmm, Latin, yeah. they really connect. And we even created a position of connecting art and sciences. Very mm -hmm. simple statement. Uh, and then how do they look uh, at the photography, the colors. Uh, and then there's bits which are more like behind the scene again, mm -hmm, B to mm -hmm. B, and then you, you make them look a bit different. So this is almost like a navigation system online. Like map, yeah. yeah, and then Vibia, mm -hmm. I loved working with this one, which is bar from Barcelona. Mm -hmm. It's a company that, that makes very beautiful lighting systems. Mm -hmm. And we did like a sundial kind of thing. So you can see that the logo, uh, instead of being dark, and mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. it, it's much more about uh, but light, really. Yeah. Miam says, muy interesante. <laughs> yeah. <Whoa>. yeah. <laughs> and then we will talk today about mm -hmm. a little bit about the Kubrick exhibition. Mm -hmm. We haven't got yeah. many pictures mm -hmm. yet because okay. literally opened yesterday. Opened to yesterday. The so you're in, if you're in London, right? It's it's an an yeah, that's why I thought yeah. I'd show a uh, yeah. little bit because mm -hmm. it's an interesting thing to mm -hmm. see. Obviously, mm -hmm. I think he was such a design fan. Mm -hmm. of, he loved design so much yeah, that yeah. his films have such an uh, design presence and, and Can you cared. share some of the slides with we us? We are sharing. Or uh, or I have to look for them, but if you want. because the, the audience here is not at off, so it's not a repetition. Yeah, okay. <laughs> if oh, you're showing uh, them give afterwards. Give me one mm -hmm. second. Only if you don't mind. I don't mind. No, it's so you see, I mean, there is a little trailer that I'm not sure whether we want to show that. It's 30 seconds, I think. But we, as you enter the exhibition, mm. we created all these screens, and we edited a film of his, all his masterpieces mm -hmm, mm -hmm. using what he, uh, he used always a one-point perspective mm -hmm. as a current yeah. theme that mm -hmm. came back. Mm -hmm. So really uh, uh, controlling, mm -hmm. and then he influenced so many directors, mm -hmm, as you mm -hmm. know, with that and with everything. So we, we create this one-point perspective tunnel as you come in, and then as you go behind that, it's all backstage kind of. So mm -hmm. you learn how he did the scripts, how he, mm -hmm made his notes, what were their influences, and we talk about it's all these things. fascinating, no? <laughs> yeah. So this is the most important mm -hmm. thing. I mean, we have a, a, a little film, which is what is played there. Uh, and we even did posters with that, but then ah, they preferred... the same concept. Yeah, yeah. but mm -hmm. they thought that was a bit too 
intellectual. <laughs> okay. So uh, we ended up ah, with okay. some. And the reason why we started to work with this mm -hmm. is also he was fascinated with chess. Mm -hmm. He always oh, played okay. chess, and that mm -hmm. he he said that chess was the way that he managed to control his mind mm -hmm. and be able to look at the future and the past in mm -hmm, a shoot. Mm -hmm. And because he was doing everything, he was mm -hmm. caring for the light, the camera work, a lot of mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. he was shooting himself, he was writing the script, he was directing the actors, he was choosing every piece of music. Mm -hmm. So it is really yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. so there's something that I think, so we There's something very yeah. meditative about chess. I, yeah. I guess that's what, you to know, that to the help meditation, you stay fo just focus. focus. Yeah, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. So we explore those and then, um, you know, these are different versions that we presented, and this mm, is the actual yes. trailer and the film. It's a longer version that mm -hmm. plays in the exhibition, but you enter it like this. Mm -hmm. um, this was such a pleasure to work mm -hmm. with, something so interesting, mm -hmm. the, how much you learn. Wow. <laughs> Well, um, well, how long? How long is it on for? I think it's six months. Six so months. you've got until about go. September. Yeah, I yeah, really um, think it's mm -hmm. worth it. They, mm -hmm. we got five star reviews on okay. every newspaper, and and his family, like his daughter and mm -hmm. wife, said it's the best version of his exhibition so far. Okay. I mean, the, obviously the credit is all to the, the curators mm -hmm. and everything, mm -hmm. but we're really lucky to have mm -hmm. been part of this. Yeah, yeah. really it's, lovely. It's great to to work also because working in a space is. It's like working, you know, on, on stage design or um, an exhibition. It's much, it's much more complicated than. It's taking, everything, yeah. yeah it's because everything, it's the yeah. films, it's the captions, mm -hmm. it's how you build each caption, mm -hmm. the amount of, you know, this, the numbers, the mm -hmm. numbers that go to each object are proportional to the his typewriter. <laughs> this is we got very obsessed with oh, yeah. well. it. I can see <laughs> that. <laughs> some of my designers are really obsessed with yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. So uh -huh. I'm, I'm very lucky that mm -hmm. you know they were making those calculations mm -hmm. and um, so and we created a little universe for each film. Mm -hmm. So the colors of that film mm -hmm. and the objects and things are all kind of you know. And then you hear across the exhibition the sound. The sounds are yeah, always yeah. so iconic, mm -hmm. yes. like this one. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. recognize. Oh, I oh, can yeah. remember mm -hmm. this is why. I, I Eyes white shot, mm -hmm. oh, that's shining. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you've got the carpet of shining as you're going through, which is a very <laughs> iconic yeah, carpet. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got the car of uh, Clockwork Orange, mm -hmm. the, but they, they, you know, the crazy uh, guys mm -hmm. would drive around. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really wow. interesting, mm -hmm. yeah. And did you uh, work on, on, like, do you create models, like, or yes. a 3D Yeah, we do models mm -hmm. and then we start to, uh, we in parallel start to mm -hmm. do this, you know, the poster and the mm -hmm, graphics mm -hmm. to give, a, to, to find what the theme is. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then we go through, you know, different ideas mm -hmm. and with the curators we land on one mm -hmm. concept for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, is there anything else from your slides that you want to share with no, us? No, I think that's okay. a good range. That's a Good no? Okay, <laughs> so I think we can move over to the uh, portfolio. portfolio reviews. Do you want to do that? Yes. Yes. You, you have me. Okay. You have to introduce. I'm not yes. sure what I'm doing, but you so can I tell think me. Uh, Rafael Costa. Let's see if Rafael is in in the chat. But maybe Salim is um, is saying I'm considering a graphic design career, but I don't want to go to school for another four years. Close to getting my bachelor's now, so I'm really stuck on self-study versus a three months intensive design course. It's, you know, these, diff these decisions are very difficult. Um, but I think like if you already mm -hmm. had mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. education, mm -hmm. uh, you can probably go straight to a master course, mm -hmm. and that's two years. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you are brilliant, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. you can speed it up. Yeah, you can yeah. do. But I think no training, I really mm -hmm. don't believe in that. Because mm -hmm. I think, for example, it's a, a, it's a real art to compose letters, to choose mm -hmm. the font, to choose mm -hmm. the colors, to choose the materials composition, all of these things. And even if you are very artistic, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, I sometimes work with architects as clients. Mm -hmm. Richard Rogers is mm -hmm. our client, which I know he did a lot in, in Spain in general. And it doesn't mean that they are good graphic designers. Mm -hmm. They, uh, uh, I wouldn't be a good architect. Mm -hmm. I mean, an exhibition, when we are doing, mm -hmm. we get a lot of support. We, mm -hmm. There was an architect in the team. There is, you know, you have specialist and you have to learn that skill mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I think that's my advice I think if, otherwise you can get away with it but you're not going to yeah, be a yeah, great mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. definitely so 
Yes, the, the more experience you can gather, and you know, it's all, I understand that sometimes it's not always possible to continue studies, either for economical reasons or um, the, the place you're at at the moment. Um, but really the advice here is to get as much experience as you can and really focus on the things you love doing. This is I, I, uh, one thing that I always say, that focus on what you love. And, um, Absolutely, and, and, and yeah. Don't do because if you do things you're not mm. interested mm -hmm. in, then mm. it will show. Yeah. I think I, like my husband does a lot of branding. He's got a studio called Nomad, and they do all the best uh, sports brands, mm -hmm. like they did the Premier League and so. But he loves football and mm -hmm. he loves sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't do, be able that. to do that. <laughs> Even though I do yeah. like, you know, yeah, you yeah. have mm -hmm. to learn, you have to mm -hmm. watch that for a long mm -hmm. time. You have to think of how people are perceiving mm -hmm. how you're a person, you know, and, mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. So I think you have to merge your all your personal interests and passions mm -hmm. with the work that you mm -hmm. do, and then you, it's, you get it right. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if, um, if Rafael is here, but he sent us his portfolio, and he's a graphic designer from... Uh, Brazil. Uh, yep, from Saint Brazil. Paulo. Oh, no, Jean no. Pessoa. I, I, you said that very well. I wouldn't be able to. Okay. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. Yeah. And, oh, okay. And he's got collaborations, and... Okay, design, uh, public relations as well, and focus on design and identity, like corporate identity and, and corporate and editorial design. Okay, so what I invite you to do is maybe scroll through it a little bit and like click on something that inspires you that you want, you would like to comment about. So I, I think this is quite an interesting one. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. looking a bit superficially, not mm -hmm. uh, knowing the background mm -hmm. or anything, uh, but then there's a whole Christian thing that I hadn't seen. <laughs> okay. So I think, you see, I, I was looking at this and thinking it, it for Brazil, it's friendly and mm -hmm. it's practical. There was a, a nice, uh, uh, obviously, is, is the cloud, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But then that's something else that I don't know. So let's go back. I don't mm -hmm. understand exactly the connection. Um, this one is interesting. Oh, it's, it's a lot of it. It's actually to do with it's the Salmos, so it's, it's religious as well. Okay. I think there is an, uh, a nice, um, this nice movement within the letter. Of course, it reminds you of all the 68 mm -hmm. uh, um, of the Olympics and you know I think there's a nice oh, pattern yes. mm -hmm. is it 68 Did yes I, yes I, uh, that was um, sometimes you have a, a blank moment in yeah, your head Mexico right Mexico yeah, but and it, there's something nice in Brazil mm -hmm. there are lots of patterns it, you know mm -hmm. there's this um, um, oh, in Copacabana, a moment. No? exactly yeah. um, mm -hmm. so it it's uh, it's something that works very mm -hmm. well I mean he is you can see he's really trying to make a uh, religion um, up to date and a bit more tech and, mm -hmm. and so on. There's, a, there's an intention there, right? Um, so I think that's one that is quite interesting. Burle Marx is the designer mm -hmm. of the, all the patterns in Rio okay. mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all the gardens and they all... So Brazilian design has a lot of curves mm -hmm. and I think that um, from my experience it's an important thing to... Yeah, just click. We can just click out okay. here. Close it. So, so most of this, yeah, is it's, uh, uh, connected to some kind of uh, religious. So mm -hmm. I can't comment on the motivations mm -hmm. and all yeah. of that because I, I don't, um, yeah, I don't mm -hmm. connect so well with that. But I think the simpler things are the best things. Uh, I think this is quite interesting compared to the other things because again it's quite straightforward he, he somehow makes his designs like icons in the literal mm -hmm. sense of rather than you know like I was showing my work mm -hmm. of it sometimes it's handmade or mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. everyone is quite different like yeah, uh, like, like a mark like yeah a I think there's something that he's trying to, to create mm -hmm. an iconography which I think it's for the subject it sounds mm -hmm. like a, probably a good idea because there's already too much emotion mm -hmm. attached to yes. that. So it makes it more universal, I guess. Uh, those are the ones that mm -hmm. caught my attention uh, a bit more. Um, look, shall we look at blue? Yeah. 
I mean, this one is simple. I don't think there's... Um, Yeah, it's nicely done. Let's see what Maybe else. We can go down. Yeah, there's always. Okay, like it was and like it is now. Ah. It's funny, I, uh, you wonder why you would change to uppercase mm -hmm. in that case, but it, it's, it's very hard to. Because I think brands are because very strategic. I don't know what they're. T <laughs> <laughs> I I prefer actually yeah, yeah. the the version uh -huh. that was mm -hmm. mixed case, mm -hmm. but perhaps the brief was to give more authority, more mm -hmm. stature. You, you, it's very hard to judge a, a branding okay, so project without knowing. Public race. Okay, it's one of the responsive typography enables the brand to have a movement. Responsive typography. Ah. So I don't know exactly what you mean about responsive typography. Oh, okay. Oh, ah, I okay, see. Okay. And then I okay. think what he's doing is much easier to do with mm -hmm. the uppercase. Yes. So fa fair mm -hmm. enough. Now okay. we see the. Now we know. Yeah. Now we know, mm -hmm. and that makes sense. Yeah. I think, I think this is uh, a trend. Obviously, mm -hmm. I see. Uh, you know, my partner Paula shared uh, mm -hmm. very much the first mm -hmm. ones of these things. But in a way, it is not necessarily a bad thing that it's a trend. I think it signifies the times we live in. Mm -hmm, like you're mm -hmm. saying, it's making mm -hmm. it more contemporary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The version before was just simple. I think now we understand, I think, as mm -hmm. a, a language. So when I see this, I assume that this is a group of people who do uh, things in a very participative way mm -hmm. and very engaging. And the, the language here does communicate that, and it's very nice. But it's funny because yeah. the main logo here, mm -hmm. and sometimes this is... And I would put it, the animation it, here. Yeah, like it doesn't right say that, right? right? So we have, uh, yeah. we have the impression yeah. this is it, so This right? is it. And you say, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it was good to but see. And, and uh, sometimes mm -hmm. the client wants a simple version to start mm -hmm. with. But I think it's very interesting when you have the whole um, yeah, configuration. Definitely. And I, I think... Um, mm -hmm. You know, then I think when you apply, it becomes a bit complicated. I mm -hmm. wouldn't have black bars and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I think the envelope on the top hand right mm -hmm. here is really simple and nice because I mm -hmm. think when you've got an iconic idea, then you try to communicate that as much as possible mm -hmm. and not add other little bits. Mm -hmm. um, so I think when he just does the black and white with that, it's, it's really mm -hmm. rich and interesting, rich in the... I get the meaning of yes, it. Yes, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. I get a little bit distracted with uh, the, um, with the with black the bar, bar at the yeah. top and things like that. Yeah, but you know, it's a it's a good overall, really good. And this oh, and t-shirts. Yeah. Oh, I like what's happening here yeah, as well. No, it's, yeah, no, it's interesting. You, mm -hmm. I guess you could make that responsive as well. Mm -hmm. if, yeah, I think it's just. <laughs> yeah. uh, well. Uh, just not trying to put too many ideas, keeping mm -hmm. this, the, this responsive thing is the thing that is very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think it's, it's yeah. great. And this is so important uh, on, on your online portfolios on Behance, is like always start with the most interesting thing, okay? Because when I'm going through portfolios, um, I don't have a lot of time. And yeah, I'm, and I'm you clicking. might not even look yeah, beyond I, that. Yeah, I'm, I, I might not even look behind that. I say, okay. Mm, Looks okay. Yeah, like so I, th no. I think that page with the mm -hmm. variations yeah. or the animation mm -hmm. is the thing that would, but it one would very help you um, yeah. mm -hmm. promote that yeah. if you mm -hmm. had it straight away. But one very good point to your portfolio, which many people don't do, is to have this text, okay, that explains it to us. And when we read it, we understood, you know, that's, and that's super yeah. important. Um, to have that uh, explanation because like I say a portfolio can have many beautiful pictures But if I don't have context if I don't have um, the idea behind it if I don't have the information about whether it's been produced or not Or is it a teamwork? Is it you alone? Is it no? I need to know what, you know, yeah, what the yeah, project is helps, all about, yeah. you know, it helps Let's see well, Rafael, thank you so much for sharing your portfolio. I think you know you did a really great job also at, mm. at, at creating the um, the icons. They have they actually tell me that some of them are branding, some of them are graphic design. Oh, so that's you, right. Yeah, yeah. So you basically tell me already, and that's a very good idea because um, I typically say don't mix different things in a portfolio. Like focus on the things you 
enjoy doing or that you want to do. Um, but in this case, it's super easy to understand. So if I'm not interested in your graphic design, but I want to know about your branding stuff, I know exactly where to click. That's a very good idea. But it's interesting because here on mm -hmm. blue, mm -hmm. you have this pink shadow. And mm. again, I think... Oh, we didn't see that in the design. We didn't see that no. anymore. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the ar once you go past it, you mm -hmm. find things that are m more interesting. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. like you said, mm -hmm. um, I think you don't need to add little bits of decoration. Just mm -hmm. go straight to the core bit, which is the stretching type, the, the responsive type, yeah, I love because that, that is yeah. about communication yeah. and dialogues, and mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. is uh, what they do. So mm -hmm. I think that would be stronger, yeah. Yep. All right, so thank you, Rafael, and let's move over to George Hadley, which, whom I've seen in the chat. Oh, I like the header as well. It gives me the impression that you like doing hands manually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, Marina, you... Yeah, there's nice things. Mm -hmm. so, so graphic designer. Thoughtcraft, it's called. From the UK. Yeah, mm -hmm. very nice work. I think it's good because you can see there is... Uh, um, maybe we go through... There's both uh, craft, as you said, as well as mm -hmm. design. And oh, and animation as well, yeah. okay. Yes, lovely. This is maybe the... Sketches. Sketches. Oh, this is like the ideation on Instagram. Okay. Great. Hmm? But I don't know what it is. Okay, let's see. Here. For identity for listings and resources website aimed at parents who home educate their children. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Makes a lot of sense. Great. Uh, we keep going here a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. So this is, I guess... Ha typography, lettering and typography. Oh, he did the, yeah, mm -hmm. I like the, the lettering actually. It's very nice. Number one, provider of quality sports clothing for independent schools. Oh, for independent schools. So it's for schools. Yeah. Sc okay. Oh, I think that's very nice. Mm. And it works for, for the, because it, it works really well for that market. Mm -hmm. This I'm not mm. keen. Uh, I don't know what happened here. Maybe... And yeah. It's the brand they already maybe, had. Maybe or it's the old brand. I don't know. Yeah, I think mm. if you're going to use any of this, I'd say stay very simple and use mm -hmm. the bottom one because mm -hmm. the other thing makes you feel very corporate, which is yes. everything you've been doing mm -hmm. is not. But we are looking without knowing whether it's mm, exactly. even and your this work is, there or this not. This is a very important point. Like, we're looking without knowing. Yeah, and that doesn't uh, help. See, yeah. Seeing our reactions, you, you exactly understand where the problems are on the page. And in this case, we saw all the beautiful hand lettering and colors and photography and suddenly this, and then it, does, it doesn't make sense yeah, anymore. Yeah, and then I uh, guess then, uh, from okay. here that he so chose, he or chose the client this chose, one. Okay. which works better. And mm -hmm. the things that you shared with us, mm -hmm. the journey, mm -hmm. um, don't work as well because they're mm -hmm. a bit more corporate. This is a bit more simple. And because you have such a, an expressive typeface and mm -hmm. all of that, I think, um, it was real. I'm not sure. I wouldn't choose red because it doesn't mm. feel. It, there's a, a degree of uh, alarm to red. Yes. Um, when and you're dealing British with schools children, is, is very and, much yeah. blue, right? Yeah, but mm. uh, they have this horrible mm. thing that blue and pink, you no. know, mean girls and boys, which ah, okay, we hate. Okay, no, we don't want that. It, no. We don't want that. But I think you could have just had some mm -hmm. more fresh colors. But it might mm -hmm. be that the brief said it has to be red mm -hmm. because we've always mm -hmm. been red. So. You know, I understand. But it is a nice job. And even, I think, mm -hmm. uh, I'm guessing he ended up with this logo, which you proposed yep. through this route. And uh, I think it overall works well. Should we go back? Mm -hmm. uh, you got some nice illustrations yeah, here. This could be interesting. Concept. Concept. Uh. Oh, Gail's is a very nice bakery, which we know. Um, so Christmas gift. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like the illustrations. I think that's very nicely done. Very wintry. Yeah. So you are an illustrator as well? Oh no, Laura. Laura uh, Carlin. The with an very good that you, that, that, yeah, you, yeah. that you say who did it. That's perfect. Very nice, very nice packaging and um, should we see some of this? It's a bit more personal, it looks mm -hmm. like. Personal project, documents it. Sense of graffiti. Oh, I, I really, ah. I'm interested in that as well. I like these mm -hmm. uh, blocked things. 
Oh. No, that's the next project. I'm an we idiot, just, sorry. We just needed to mm. scroll down. <laughs> I know. I, I take a lot of pictures of these mm. things. I enjoy. Actually, this one in the middle, I have mm -hmm. been photographing. Ah. Uh, I can recognize. Yeah, I think these are so lovely, and they make uh, really nice canvases. And uh, I, I have a collection of those mm -hmm. as well. But I think it's nice the way you describe, the way you present. Mm -hmm. um, because so I never know, I think some of those are not even there. I don't even know what, I'm always wondering what made that person paint that in that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? what, what, did, what yeah. are they covering? Exactly, mm -hmm. is it a whole, because it's not always a graffiti, but mm -hmm. I think it, it creates beautiful things, mm -hmm. right? So lovely, it, and I like sharing personal projects, mm -hmm. I personally like it. <laughs> Do you, do, you, do you dedicate time in your, in your yeah, life I'm for personal projects? Yeah, I'm going to talk about projects? that, mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. um, today, which is all these little things that we do that inform what we then do as a designer. Mm -hmm. That's the, more or less the subject of mm -hmm. the talk. So I very much connect with that one. Um, it's lovely. I think this looks quite nice. Uh, Student marketing, so you work a lot for student organizations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't. So I guess these are again different types of um, of yeah, proposals the, it, that he made. I I like the lead route. I'm not sure what mm -hmm. these other things are. The natives. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, the other options for the natives, mm. sorry. So George, uh, George is writing here and says, yes, it, uh, the logo was an evolution and uh, it, they had to simplify it. Yeah. Yeah. No, the, the one before, you uh, remember? The one with the, the circle? No, from the project before? Right. With the, the, um, the, the circles with the dot in it, like the school... Yes. The, yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, it's yeah. an he evolution says, yeah, from yeah. that. Okay, said, thank you. They had to use a red. But yeah, they I, we to make it look that. more contemporary. So yeah. this is interesting because I don't know, I, is it different routes then? Because Nat, Nat, mm. Nat is, is one route here. That was that route there. They're all mm. interesting. I, I like your use of colors very much. Mm. Here is the idea of creating a canvas. So you take the end and then you make a canvas. I think that's, I think they're all very nice. This one I like less because it, I don't tend to like corporate things as much, but I know mm. they are a co corporate mm. uh, entity. Um, it's just a little bit more, um, there's less difference in this mm. one than there is on the other ones. Um, the first one is quite corporate, but I find that very interesting. Uh, funnily enough, I've, we're working in a very, co wo amongst other projects, there mm. is one that is a corporation that does only good, you know, f things for good mm -hmm. and stuff. And they ended up having to have a circle. So we were starting all the things that people have done with circles mm -hmm, already mm -hmm. to make sure it's different. So I know it's a difficult area to own, but this is a, an interesting mm. way. And also when you deconstruct it. So uh, this is corporate, but uh, um, very fresh. Yeah. This is a bit less corporate. It's a bit more um, mm -hmm. engaging and a bit mm. more campaign or something. But I think it's yeah, also I don't think very you need nice. To put everything that you do in it, like no, no you're like right, because you know, like you're thinking a lot yeah, of how you show, yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. And this one just mm. feels a bit more cold to me. Uh, huh. Okay, <laughs> yes. Even the colors. Because the this more one feels it's yeah. funny, but you think it's a mm -hmm. theater or something. Mm. It's funny how without, you know, looking. Mm. Well, I like it, but I doubt that they would feel mm -hmm. really represented yeah. mm -hmm. because it has. Uh, a feeling that is more, uh, a little bit more creative mm -hmm, mm -hmm, than mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, consultancy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and all of these studies, like um, like these, like the shapes and uh, and you know some like color choices and font choices, they're super interesting. But this is really like you know like this is like the ideation phase. So one thing that I find more interesting than that is actually sketches or uh, or things of how you how you came to the idea. Um, and then in the end, I really don't know which one it is that actually made the cut. Okay, is it? Yeah, I think this a little one? bit of a narrative to yeah. explain. Mm -hmm. And I think the trick is, as you said, with <laughs> Rufus. <laughs> Rufus. Rufus. You see, we said we started today <laughs> saying we're going to say our names wrong. <laughs> oh God. 
Sorry. Okay, so I think the <laughs> thing is to do these things with a ver in a very mm. telegraphic way. Mm. So there's very few words because mm. people don't take time to read, unfortunately. And we're going to have to yeah. say bye-bye to everybody. But, yeah, we're but be then cut give off. a bit of yeah. context. Very great, George. Thank you. Thank Good you, luck. everybody. Thank you, Marina. Thank you. That was great. And I'll be, I'll be yeah, in 10 minutes we're off on again. So stay here. We'll be right back. Bye. Thank you, Marina. Thank <laughs> you.